For the first time in history, a spacecraft has touched the Sun, NASA's Parker Solar Probe, has now flown through the Sun's upper atmosphere, the corona, and sampled particles and magnetic fields there. The new milestone marks one major step for Parker Solar Probe and one giant leap for solar science. Just as landing on the Moon allowed scientists to understand how it was formed, touching the very stuff the Sun is made of, will help scientists uncover critical information about our closest star and its influence on the solar system. This is a dream come true. One of the major goals for the Parker Solar Probe mission is to fly through the solar corona, and we are doing that now. So what does it mean to touch the Sun? To answer that, we need to look at the Sun's structure. Unlike Earth, the Sun doesn't have a solid surface. It's a giant ball of hot plasma that's held together by its own gravity. Solar material flows out from the surface, but around the Sun, it's bound by the Sun's gravity and magnetic field. This material forms the Sun's atmosphere, the corona. Eventually, some of this hot and fast solar material escapes the pole of the Sun and gushes out into space as solar wind. The boundary that marks the edge of the Sun's atmosphere is known as the Alphane Critical Surface. We didn't know exactly where this boundary was, but for the first time in history, a spacecraft has crossed it. Parker Solar Probe ventured into the corona, touching solar material still bound to the sun. Parker Solar Probe, touching the sun, is a monumental moment for solar science and a truly remarkable feat. Not only does this milestone provide us with deeper insights into our sun's evolution and its impacts on our solar system, but everything we learn about our own star also teaches us more about stars in the rest of the universe. As it circles closer to the solar surface, Parker is making new discoveries that other spacecraft were too far away to see, including from within the solar wind, the flow of particles from the sun that can influence us at Earth. In 2019, Parker discovered that magnetic zigzag structures in the solar wind, called switchbacks, are plentiful close to the sun. But how and where they form remained a mystery. Halving the distance to the sun since then, Parker Solar Probe has now passed close enough to identify one place where they originate, the solar surface. The first passage through the corona, and the promise of more flybys to come, will continue to provide data on phenomena that are impossible to study from afar. Flying so close to the Sun, Parker Solar Probe now senses conditions in the magnetically dominated layer of the solar atmosphere, the corona, that we never could before. We see evidence of being in the corona in magnetic field data, solar wind data, and visually in images. We can actually see the spacecraft flying through coronal structures that can be observed during a total solar eclipse. Closer than ever before. Parker Solar Probe launched in 2018 to explore the mysteries of the Sun by traveling closer to it than any spacecraft before. Three years after launch and decades after first conception, Parker has finally arrived. Unlike Earth, the Sun doesn't have a solid surface. But it does have a superheated atmosphere, made of solar material bound to the Sun by gravity and magnetic forces. As rising heat and pressure push that material away from the sun, it reaches a point where gravity and magnetic fields are too weak to contain it. That point, known as the Alphan critical surface, marks the end of the solar atmosphere and beginning of the solar wind. Solar material with the energy to make it across that boundary becomes the solar wind, which drags the magnetic field of the sun with it as it races across the solar system, to Earth and beyond. Until now, researchers were unsure exactly where the Alphan critical surface lay. Based on remote images of the corona, estimates had put it somewhere between 10 to 20 solar radii from the surface of the Sun, 4.3 to 8.6 million miles. Parker's spiral trajectory brings it slowly closer to the Sun, and during the last few passes, the spacecraft was consistently below 20 solar radii or 91% of Earth's distance from the Sun, putting it in the position to cross the boundary, if the estimates were correct. On April 28, 2021, during its eighth flyby of the Sun, Parker Solar Probe encountered the specific magnetic and particle conditions at 18.8 solar radii or around 8.1 million miles above the solar surface that told scientists it had crossed the Alphan critical surface for the first time and finally entered the solar atmosphere. During the flyby, Parker Solar Probe passed into and out of the corona several times. This has proved what some had predicted, that the Alphan critical surface isn't shaped like a smooth ball. Rather, it has spikes and valleys that wrinkle the surface. 
Discovering where these protrusions line up with solar activity coming from the surface can help scientists learn how events on the sun affect the atmosphere and solar wind. At one point, as Parker Solar Probe dipped to just beneath 15 solar radii or around 6.5 million miles from the sun's surface, it transited a feature in the corona called a pseudo-streamer. Pseudo-streamers are massive structures that rise above the sun's surface and can be seen from Earth during solar eclipses. Passing through the pseudo-streamer was like flying into the eye of a storm. Inside the pseudo-streamer, the conditions quieted, particles slowed, a number of switchbacks dropped, a dramatic change from the busy barrage of particles the spacecraft usually encounters in the solar wind. For the first time, the spacecraft found itself in a region where the magnetic fields were strong enough to dominate the movement of particles there. These conditions were the definitive proof the spacecraft had passed the Alphan critical surface and entered the solar atmosphere where magnetic fields shaped the movement of everything in the region. The first passage through the corona, which lasted only a few hours, is one of many planned for the mission. Parker will continue to spiral closer to the sun, eventually reaching as close as 8.86 solar radii or 3.83 million miles from the surface. Upcoming flybys, the next of which is happening in January 2022, will likely bring Parker Solar Probe through the corona again. The size of the corona is also driven by solar activity. As the sun's 11-year activity cycle, the solar cycle, ramps up, the outer edge of the corona will expand, giving Parker Solar Probe a greater chance of being inside the corona for longer periods of time. Even before the first trips through the corona, some surprising physics was already surfacing. On recent solar encounters, Parker Solar Probe collected data pinpointing the origin of zigzag-shaped structures in the solar wind, called switchbacks. The data showed one spot that switchbacks originate is at the visible surface of the Sun, the photosphere. By the time it reaches Earth, 93 million miles away, the solar wind is an unrelenting headwind of particles and magnetic fields. But as it escapes the Sun, the solar wind is structured and patchy. In the mid-1990s, the NASA European Space Agency mission Ulysses flew over the Sun's poles and discovered a handful of bizarre S-shaped kinks in the solar wind's magnetic field lines, which detoured charged particles on a zigzag path as they escaped the Sun. For decades, scientists thought these occasional switchbacks were oddities confined to the Sun's polar regions. In 2019, at 34 solar radii from the Sun, Parker discovered that switchbacks were not rare, but common in the solar wind. This renewed interest in the features and raised new questions, where were they coming from? Were they forged at the surface of the Sun, or shaped by some process kinking magnetic fields in the solar atmosphere? The new findings, in press at the Astrophysical Journal, finally confirm one origin point is near the solar surface. The clues came as Parker orbited closer to the Sun on its sixth flyby, less than 25 solar radii out. Data showed switchbacks occur in patches and have a higher percentage of helium, known to come from the photosphere, than other elements. The switchbacks' origins were further narrowed when the scientists found the patches aligned with magnetic funnels that emerge from the photosphere between convection cell structures called supergranules. In addition to being the birthplace of switchbacks, the scientists think the magnetic funnels might be where one component of the solar wind originates. The solar wind comes in two different varieties, fast and slow, and the funnels could be where some particles in the fast solar wind come from. Understanding where and how the components of the fast solar wind emerge, and if they are linked to switchbacks, could help scientists answer a long-standing solar mystery, how the corona is heated to millions of degrees, far hotter than the solar surface below. While the new findings locate where switchbacks are made, the scientists can't yet confirm how they are formed. One theory suggests they might be created by waves of plasma that roll through the region like ocean surf. One of the major goals for the Parker Solar Probe mission is to fly through the solar corona. And we are doing that now. Parker Solar Probe is touching the sun. Flying through the solar corona, that is the magnetic field dominated um, region of the solar atmosphere, will allow us to understand why the solar corona is over 300 times hotter than the solar surface, and how this flow of charged particles that we call the solar wind is accelerated to 100,000 miles per hour. 
Scientifically, this is a huge milestone. We are learning about our star and how it works. And we know that the sun is always changing. It's a magnetized and active star. And flying so close to it will tell us exactly how it works. For humanity, it is a humongous stride. Flying through the atmosphere of the star is potentially the ultimate uh, challenge that we can do here on, on our lives. And Parker Solar Probe is just doing that. It is just amazing. The, the switchbacks are reversal in the magnetic field. The magnetic field will flip over itself in and out in a matter of seconds and minutes. What is important about them is that they will tell us about the origins of the solar wind and how it came about. This is only the beginning for Parker Solar Probe flying through the solar core. Um, from now on, every, now, every time the Parker Solar Probe flies uh, close to the sun, it will fly through the solar, through the solar corner. And it's just amazing that to observe that a spacecraft is flying through the structure that we can see through uh, during solar eclipses. And it's just fascinating. One thing we are looking forward to is one Parker Solar Probe flies through one of these huge CMEs very close to the sun and tell us how these solar energetic particles are accelerated to almost the speed of light. It's really exciting to see our advanced technologies succeed in taking Parker Solar Probe closer to the sun than we've ever been, and to be able to return such amazing science. Parker Solar Probe is part of NASA's Living with a Star program to explore aspects of the Sun-Earth system that directly affect life and society. The Living with a Star program is managed by the agency's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland, for NASA's Science Mission Directorate in Washington. The Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory in Laurel, Maryland, manages the Parker Solar Probe mission for NASA and designed, built, and operates the spacecraft. <laughs>